Good morning guys and gals from Cairns, Queensland, Australia on the beautiful flybridge of our new home for right now. There's the queen. <laughs> a beautiful Leopard 58. Ready to put these to use. Is that a blackfin? A couple of rumbles and bumbles in there. Time to go back to school. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be a tough passage. In true legend fashion, we just got off the phone with a captain. We're about to call him right now while we're recording and say yes to taking a first mate and stew job on a very large and beautiful catamaran sailing up the Great Barrier Reef through Indonesia and beyond. It is a last minute job offer. As my sister just said on the phone, what are you doing? Go. <laughs> I'm so excited right now and I feel like we have to take it. This is definitely one of those moments where in life you tell yourself to say yes to all these opportunities and then great opportunities come up and you have to say yes because that's the way you're trying to live your life. So YOLO. Yeah. <sighs> We're doing this. Hello guys. Skipper. Yeah. We're in. Let's bug it. <laughs> Wait, we're, we're in. We're in. We're, yeah. we're stoked. We're so we're, excited. We're, we're excited. Good. We're stoked. Okay, that's good. This is a good uh, opportunity for all of us. Good news. Uh, let's move forward. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, so great. Fantastic. Okay, we will see. I'm happy for you guys. Uh, we're excited. Uh, you are, if you're happy, we are happy. So, awesome. all right. Cheers. Guys, see you tomorrow. Okay. And just like that, we're going to Australia. We're going to Australia. <laughs> Where's the cigar? It's in my bag. Get it. Because I'm smoking it <laughs> and I'm going to have a beer and a burger right now. We're going to Australia. Get it right now. Go. Go. Last waves of the day. It's too deep, bro. No. The last sunset for us in Bali for a little while. We are here with my boy Chuka. Man, time to go pack and get ready to go. Very humbling moment, very spiritual moment. We are literally on the way. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Ooh. That's it. You ready? <laughs> oh, and then there they are. Look at that. Our Lord and Saviors. Hi, how are you? What's up, bro? How's it going? Good. Good to see you. What's up, guys? All right, so we made it to the airport because of this badass right here, this legend right here. Two leashes, two surfboard leashes, a string of hope, and that good old boy statement, that's not going anywhere. Oh, man. They both said it. You're allowed to have a surfboard as your checked bag. You're allowed to have rods as your checked bag as long as they're in something like that uh, we'll see now, wish us luck <laughs> we're going to australia we're going to australia hi we're doing it we're doing it we did it <laughs> the local time is five minutes past six Please remain seated until the aircraft comes to a complete stop at the terminal. We're in Australia. We're in Australia. Stop, you'll be stop keep this devastating disease out of Australia. All meat and dairy products. My mountain girl feels the cold. Oh, it's so chilly. It feels so good. I just want to lay down and go to sleep and have a blanket. We had made it to Queensland, Australia. A life goal for both of us. Australia has so many beautiful things to show you. But unfortunately and fortunately, this was a work trip. As soon as we got off the plane, it was jumping into the quickest cab we could find, headed to the pier to meet the captain. Couple of projects and then straight to the grocery store for provisions and we were out of there. Let's go. What's up, legends? We are here. <laughs> Where is here? We are in Cairns, Cairns or Cairns, Australia. And we just got in an awesome little cabby van here. We got the gear loaded up. It's beautiful here. They got mangrove swamps, rivers, crocodiles, and everything in between. Dagan has been talking about the crocodiles 
since he could see land outside the window. I'm a Florida boy. So like, for the past hour and a half, he's been talking about crocodiles. That's right. Put me in. I'm ready, coach. It's time for provisioning, getting it done, getting what we need, pulling out tomorrow. One of the final stages of making a big crossing passage, provisions. Look at this super bag lady we got here. Yeah, I'm not doing a great job. She's doing a great job. Keep it up, baby. We love you. Look at that. We're just getting started. And we're getting served by the best ladies in Cairns. We've switched cashiers. We've paid over once and we're pushing through again. Meats have gone through. Cold products are going through. Last bit of the bulk. Then the perishables and the greens. Then the breads. So we're at one, two, three, four, five carts starting to six. And we were got the breads and the bitter end. We just got done grocery shopping for for eight people. Two and a half weeks at sea. And then for another two and a half weeks of clients yes. on board. It was seven grocery carts. <sighs> Good morning, my muta, buenos dias. Good morning from Cairns, Queensland, Australia, Ports North Marina, on a beautiful Leopard 58. Got a lot to do today, last day in port here. All right, you guys, that's it. You. Good job. Good job. Just like that, underway. Sailing Legends has begun, Millennial Legends is on the way. Here we go. We have successfully, about six hours later, got just about everything in store. We just had a nice little lunch, late lunch. Potatoes, lemons, limes, oranges, tomatoes, carrots, onions, fruits, eggs, avocados, everything else. Now on to the rest. Night number two on the boat. She's over here doing bosun mate work. Look at her over here. I am so impressed. You kicking ass and taking names right now. I am so impressed. A little carbon build up right where your top finger is. Other than that, looks good. All the stores that were here are put away. Today is the day, folks. We are headed out and headed north. Tides high and flowing. All right, it's time to go. Despite uh, Coast Guard, Recommendations, despite some gut feelings, we're on the way. We are taken off, cleaned. All our little projects are checked off. Everything that we can't get done underway, we have gotten done. And it is time to take off. You saw bad weather that way, and there is clearly bad weather that way, but we're about to rock it. No matter what, we're out of here. Great Barrier Reef, Indonesia and beyond, here we come. Legends few and far between and all the way around the world. We love you all. Cheers, it's time to take off. What's going on? We're underway, we're on our way. <laughs> Time to head up to El Capitan and I'll see you in a little bit. Oh yeah? You! Ooh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these two, you go over there by her, stand by her. Yeah, Oh, It's gonna be a tough passage. We are underway. We are underway and it is rocky. <laughs> we haven't even begun yet. Oh my goodness, it's... yeah, we're still inside. Go take a nap. Hello, and uh, be back up at watch in four hours. Here we go. Coming up on an hour into our watch. Oh, I'm so seasick. She's she's being a champ, you guys. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Tell them what you you saw when I had to run out and do sales earlier. Oh my gosh, I think we need to explain that in the daytime because I, I, that was insanity. That night watch had gotten more crazy than I had ever expected. Uh, the waves, the wind, everything had picked up. A squall ended up coming in. The rain was pouring down. It just got really nasty out really quickly. So in that, Dagan had to jump outside of the comfy, safe cabin that we were in on the third level of the catamaran. It is windy. The waves are high, the boat is rocking up and down. It was super nerve wracking watching Dagan go out to the mainsail to drop the lines so that way the big sail, mainsail could come down. Um, 
with the rain, with the waves, everything going on, he could have easily fallen off the boat. It was definitely a very dangerous and very, as I like to say, cowboy move uh, to put the sails down in the middle of a squall. The seas got even worse throughout the night. I ended up getting so seasick that I was down for the next 24 hours in and out of the cabin just trying to keep everything down while I was down. It was, it was definitely a scary moment for me personally. All right, second watch. The queen did not make it up with me on this one. Kind of figured that was gonna happen, but that's okay, she's a champ. Definitely five plus meter waves. Oh, that was a seven right there. This is a 60 foot catamaran and it's surfing down these waves. That's how big they are right now. Making way. We're still pushing 6.5 to 7.5, surfing down at 8, just with a tiny bit of canvas. Excited to see how rough it is at first light. Love you guys. Cheers from the Coral Sea. Phew. All right. This is where we're at now. First light. Here comes a monster. Takes me 15 degrees off course. Oh, there's a backup. Uh, and now I'm, Jesus, 20 degrees off course. Looks like we got 50 miles to the next entrance. I think we're taking it. Because these bad boys aren't getting any smaller. Now we've touched on the rolling main. Now we're safe as Georgia. That took me almost 20 degrees off angle. What did you do? Caught some sushi while having a cough. <laughs> Yellow? <laughs> We're having sushi tonight. Oh, poke sounds good though. That is the current sea state in the reef right now. <laughs> Outside, you saw how big it was. We were gonna go hide out behind Lerwick Island and uh, drop the pick for the night. So, that being said, cheers legends, we'll talk to you guys soon. There's the queen. There he is. Well, whatever he normally hauls, he's not hauling it now. That water line is way up, he is running dry. He used to have to call out a hundred of these an hour back in the day. So we are uh, halfway up on the uh, Great Barrier Reef right now. And we are going to push through the next 270 nautical miles north to Thursday Island and the Straits. Get ready for the next nine days of passage. Alyssa's first full crossing. Here we go. Cheers, you guys. First bait log. Zero 34 hours. My junior crew is learning. I could not be more proud of my queen. She's keeping it between the navigational beacons. Aww, Jimmy Buffett reference. I'm proud of you, babe. We yeah. got, a, got about four and a half, four hours of broken sleep. Yeah, that's tough. Like the first shift, staying up till midnight, I could do that. Staying up till one, I could do that. But getting up in the middle of the night and cutting your sleep, that's tough. I was so sick yeah. with the seasickness. I've got a patch on now. I was chewing on ginger all day today, which by the way, ginger is amazing for seasickness. Yeah. Why is that not a thing that we talk about? <laughs> not bad for a little island there scoping out future homesteads. <laughs> I don't know if camera's gonna do it, but we're changing colors here. Literally, there's a line right here you can see. Colors are changing. Super cool. What's up, big mama? Wow. 
What are you learning right now? To tie knots. This is not fun. Wah, wah, wah. Now, it says the queen who wants to live on a boat. Yeah, but that's what you're for. Wah, wah, wah. Did you, what else did you learn to tie? A bowling. Show me. She's under the gun here, folks. Oh yeah? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Beautiful day here. We know where we're going and we know how we're going to get there. But in between that, <laughs> the hell with it. The days all kind of just go together. Yeah. Got a turn coming up tonight. This will be our watch. So rounding the point of Cape York Peninsula and making it through the beginning of the Torres Straits into Thursday Island here. Get gnarly quick. Made up. I'm feeling better than I was day one. Or yeah. Day one of sailing, anyway, because I got so seasick. We're champagne sailing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Now I kind of want to see, now that I'm feeling better, I want to see if I'll get seasick again if we hit the heavy. Well, you got two days. Heavy waters again, so we'll see. Yep. Hopefully I don't, and I'm just over it, and my body's adjusted. We saw dolphins today, which was super exciting. They came and played alongside the boat for a good 10 minutes almost. We've seen one sea turtle, caught two yellow-tail tunas. Yellow fin. Tail, fin, salt say. <laughs> to all the fishing husbands of the world, I apologize now. <laughs> funny. Yeah, it's been really smooth sailing day, you know, it's got quite a bit, which has been awesome. I am trying to do the dishes and just, or I am, you know, doing the dishes and trying to pull my weight in the ways that I can by keeping the kitchen clean and the dishes put away and uh, preparing meals for people who need meals prepared. It's a little difficult to pull your weight when you don't really know what you're doing. What's up, legends? Welcome to the absolutely gorgeous north eastern tip of Australia and the Thursday Islands and the channels and the Torres Straits. I'm telling you now this place is gorgeous. Sign me up because I'm coming back. Skipper up there doing his thing. Got the jib and the mainsail both up. I mean look at that. Does the view get any better than that? This one's for my mom. Check out the color mom. It's very Boca Grandish color here. That's it, babe. 661 nautical miles, still some lucky Indonesia. Let's go. You ready? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 660 miles until we see land again. Goodbye, Australia. Hello, Indonesia. What have I learned? I've learned to tie, to tie a bull in knot. <laughs> Tying knots is not my forte, but if I want a sailboat, I'm gonna have to learn. There is a lot to learn with the sailboat and it's actually really intimidating. These lines, these lines go all the way up here, up the mast, around the corner. There's a lot. I couldn't fathom right now running all the lines, running all the rigging. It's a lot. Looks like that's a fishing vessel. That is a harbor pilot. What's a harbor pilot? What you doing? Tucking the sail away. Boats are rocking and you're up on the roof. So brave. <laughs> I love it. Sails tucked away? Yep. Good job. There's literally no wind, so the sails got put away and we are motoring right now. This thing is giant. Now we're making our turn out of the final passage. And uh, let's take a look here. It's the last marker for Australia. 
Adios, mate. Ew. Indonesia, here we come, baby. Let's go. Australia doesn't want us leaving yet. They're giving us a goodbye package. It formed up on the coast, swallowed up Booby Island, and now it's headed straight for us. And I'm only making, I'm headed dead downwind into some BS wind right now. I'm making 4.9. So, time to batten down the hatches. Alyssa just went out to close them. And uh, she's going to start dinner now so that when they wake up and we go to bed for our wash rotation, dinner's already ready to go. Menu tonight is uh, spaghetti. The calm before the storm. The wind just completely died and the water just went flat and smooth. And uh, oh, yeah. Guess I should bring in the rod. Freshwater wash down time. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. This is a serious shifting low pressure system. It dropped 20 degrees like that. Holy crap. It went from like hot and muggy to just gnarly. Night watch camp. Her, I caught her in the cookie jar. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know.